Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question three from the Irish Maths Olympiad, 1996. Let P be a prime number and A and N be positive integers. Prove that if two to the power of P plus three to the power of P is equal to A to the power of N, then N is equal to one. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one, try writing out the first few values for two to the power of P plus three to the power of P. What do you notice about the numbers? How could you prove this property? Hint number two, try using modular arithmetic to prove the property observed in hint number one. Hint number three, what can we say about the right hand side if we know that the left hand side is a multiple of five? Bear in mind that five is a prime. Hint number four, so we know that x to the power of n minus y to the power of n is equal to x minus y multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1 plus x to the power of n minus 2 multiplied by y all the way to plus y to the power of n minus 1. Now we can replace y with minus y for odd n and so we can get x to the power of n plus y to the power of n is equal to x plus y multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1 minus x to the power of n minus 2 multiplied by y plus x to the power of n minus 3 multiplied by y squared all the way to plus y to the power of n minus 1. How will this be useful for the problem? What is the sum of x plus y if we relate it to the problem? Considering 2 to the power of p plus 3 to the power of p equal to a to the power of n in modulo 5, we get 2 to the power of p plus minus 2 to the power of p, which for all p not equal to 2, is congruent to 2 minus 2, which is 0 modulo 5. This is because all primes apart from 2 are odd, and so minus 2 to the power of p will be negative for all primes apart from 2. So for p greater than 2, the left hand side is always a multiple of 5. This means that the right hand side must also be a multiple of 5, and so a to the power of n is also a multiple of 5, and since 5 is prime, a must be a multiple of 5, and so the right hand side is in fact a multiple of 5 to the power of n. So by taking advantage that for odd p, 2 to the power of p plus 3 to the power of p is equal to 2 plus 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of p minus 1 minus 2 to the power of p minus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 to the power of p minus 3 multiplied by 3 squared all the way to plus 3 to the power of p minus 1. We can divide 2 to the power of p plus 3 to the power of p by 5, which will give us 2 to the power of p minus 1 minus 2 to the power of p minus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 to the power of p minus 3 multiplied by 3 squared all the way to plus 3 to the power of p minus 1. And we will consider this in modulo 5 to see if 2 to the power of p plus 3 to the power of p divided by 5 is a multiple of 5, which if the answer is yes, will mean that 2 to the power of p plus 3 to the power of p is a multiple of 25. So we get 2 to the power of p minus 1 minus 2 to the power of p minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 plus 2 to the power of p minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 squared all the way to plus minus 2 to the power of p minus 1 which is congruent to 2 to the power of p minus 1 plus 2 to the power of p minus 1 plus 2 to the power of p minus 1 plus 2 to the power of p minus 1 and so on which will give us p multiplied by 2 to the power of p minus 1. Now from this we can quickly see that p multiplied by 2 to the power of p minus 1 will be congruent to 0 if and only if p is equal to 5. So for all p but 2 and 5, 2 to the power of p plus 3 to the power of p is not a multiple of 25. 
because 2 to the power of p plus 3 to the power of p divided by 5 is not a multiple of 5. And so n cannot be greater than 1 because, as we've previously seen, the right-hand side is a multiple of 5 to the power of n, which will mean it's a multiple of 25 for n greater than 1. For p equals 5, we get 2 to the power of 5 plus 3 to the power of 5 equal to 275, which is 25 multiplied by 11, which only gives us n equals 1, as 25 is a power of 2 and 11 is a power of 1. And similarly, for p equals 2, we get 4 plus 9 equals 13. Again, n equals 1 is the only solution. So we have proven that for all such a and p, n must equal 1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.